Happy Earth Day, everyone. Turkey and I are out here at Tilly K. Fowler Park on the west side of Jacksonville. It's a beautiful day out, and in honor of Earth Day, I thought I would give you a little tour of the park and tell you about the history. This is one of my favorite dog-friendly places to come in the Jacksonville area, both with my own dog, Turkey, and with our clients' dogs from Bad to the Bone Pet Care. The park is over 500 acres and has multiple nature trails. Today we're going to be doing the Tower Trail, which is Turkey and I's favorite trail out of the several that are out here. There's also a fenced-in uh, dog park area, there's a butterfly garden, there's mountain bike trails, there's a playground for the kids. This park is truly awesome. So the tower trail out here is a little over a mile long and leads you to this really cool observation tower where you have where you have these beautiful views of this swampy area and you come down this really cool boardwalk to get to the tower. Most of the trail is all natural. There is a little bit of pavement at the beginning and then you have this boardwalk to get to the tower. It's just really beautiful. You have a lot of wildlife out here. I've seen uh, rabbits, I've seen deer, I've seen snakes, I've seen um, chickens even, all kinds of just really uh, beautiful life out here. In 1917, the U.S. Department of War built Camp Johnston here to train soldiers for World War I. At the time, there were 16 buildings, all on stilts because it's such a swampy area, as you can see behind me. And uh, there were 16 buildings and about 4,000 horses. Uh, and one of the really cool things about this uh, park is that you can still see, see some of the old red brick road. And I'll show you some of that here in just a minute. Um, the Navy leased the land for the park to the city of Jacksonville for a dollar per year on a 99-year lease back in the mid-90s. And then the park officially opened in 1996 as the Westside Regional Park. Um, it was changed to Tilly K. Fowler Regional Park in 2005 in honor of Tilly K. Fowler herself, who was the city councilwoman that uh, really spearheaded this whole movement to uh, turn this into a park. Uh, she was a city councilwoman here for Jacksonville, and then uh, she was a state representative after that. And uh, she died in 2005, so they renamed the park in honor of her. So this is the original red brick road from 1917 here. You can see it in several spots in the park. It's in really good condition. It's really cool just to be able to see this. Um, the original Camp Johnston that was here was built in 1917, but there are actually some records that this road predates even that. Um, I don't think anyone really knows for sure, but it's really old and really cool nonetheless. This is the back side of the dog park area I was telling you about. We're walking down some of the red brick road that you can see. Turkey and I are not going to go into the dog park today because we have gotten a good bit of rain recently and the dog park uh, floods pretty bad in the middle. So keep that in mind if you're planning on using the dog park area while you're here, that uh, it does flood, so try to plan on a drier week. One of my absolute favorite things about owning a local pet care business is the fact that I get to spend so much of my time every day out doing things like this. We live in such a beautiful area here in North Florida and we should celebrate it. We need to go out and enjoy it. And in honor of Earth Day, that is exactly what I'm urging all of you to do. Go try a new park, a new nature trail. Go walk down your own street in your neighborhood. Just get outside and appreciate how beautiful our, our area is. I'm Doug the Dog Guy from Bad to the Bone Pet Care, reminding you to stay positive.